Hey guys, what's up? So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face using the makeup that I keep in my bag. So, those of you guys who don't know, I keep makeup in here for like emergencies or when I'm like at a friend's house or whatever I got going on. I keep it in here because you never know when you might need it. So, let me put this back where it's supposed to go. You give those back to my mom. I have a straw in here that looks like I need to take this out of the packaging right now. I need to go rinse it out. But uh, y'all know my story about my straw, so I'm gonna actually put that back in here. And then, this is what it looks like. And if you guys haven't seen the inside, I showed you guys all of this in the makeup that I did with the um, makeup I keep in my bag. I'm going to use the brushes that I keep in here. However, I am going to pull like my actual like my double sided mirror so that you know we have something to work on. But I have like makeup remover wipes, eyeshadows, eye primers, mascara, face primer. CC cream, sunscreen. I have I have the works in here, and then I also have this little towel that I actually hold on just a second. I gotta gotta get I gotta get this so I can clean my mirror. it's covered in like fingerprints and all that jazz uh while I'm doing this I go back to school in a little less than a month I'm leaving on the 10th and school starts on the 15th so yeah I'm pretty excited to get to go back to college and everything. Alright, that's kind of streaky, but we're going to go with it. I do like to set this towel out to, like, uh, wipe my brushes on and stuff. Just so, you know, I'm not contaminating color. So I'm going to start... By using this sunscreen I don't know if I'm gonna actually know I'm gonna use this sugar fresh sugar rose lip balm that looks slightly melted because I keep this in my bag Ooh, and it is summertime and because it is summertime my lips be dry and just everything going on is just not great so I'm gonna rub that into my lips massage it in and then I'm gonna take this sunscreen by Lancome you have to shake it it's got a little thing in it and this is SPF 50 sunscreen water resistant. This is facial sunscreen only. So it's kind of runny. And I'm gonna take this on my hand and just put this on my face. Normally I tend to go more for a thicker sunscreen like this one in here this is a peter thomas ross one that's the one that i tend to use more often so i'm gonna get i'm gonna shake it up just a little bit more it's kind of thin then i'm gonna wipe it off and then I'm gonna stick it in here and just 
kind of let that set. Oh wait, no, I still have some. So while we're waiting for that to happen, I'm gonna get my brushes out. And I did buy like little tiny like travel brushes, which they're not that small. Like realistically, I have some pretty small brushes from like Ulta. But I like to I like to buy like travel brushes because you know these are I just shop one. <laughs> these are brushes that I use when I go out. Like I have face brushes, like I have a blush brush. I have a powder brush, I have, what is this, this is an eye crease brush, I have a liner brush, I have a shadow brush, I have this little eyebrow thing, I have a flat brush, and then I have another crease brush, which I actually, since I have two of these, I use one for highlight and one for my actual eye. So now that that is done, I'm going to take my primer by Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Matte Face Primer. I actually don't have a foundation brush in here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and grab mine because I like to do foundation and primer with my foundation brush now this is a matte primer and because I do have oily skin this definitely helps keep my keep my skin looking nice and not oily or gross at all and just There we go. All right, so now that while we wait for that, I do also have a setting spray in here. This is the same setting spray I have at home. They're just awesome. And then I do have one lipstick in here. I have one lip product and it is a matte lipstick by e.l.f. And you guys, I, oh, <laughs> I love these. So, if it looks like I just woke up, I did. Like, my hair is a mess. Like, I got, I got a lot going on right now. Okay. Now that, you know, this has sunk in, I'm going to take this Almay Smart Shade CC Cream. I have mine in the shade Light 100 because that's me. And then, I'm going to take it on the back of my hand. And I want to show you guys this. There are these little beads in there that like change to match the color of your skin while you blend it. So just like. Okay. Like look at that. I think that's pretty cool compared to some other brands and stuff. So I'm looking down at my mirror so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And then for my nose, I'm gonna actually try to scoop up what's left on the back of my hand and go in for it. And then I like to just make sure I'm all blended to my hairline and That looks good. All right, I feel I feel blended. So I'm gonna kind of wipe this off a little bit. I haven't used that, and I actually forgot how much I really liked this stuff. Okay, so 
I usually conceal first, but I'm not going to this time. I'm going to actually conceal now. <clears throat> so, I'm actually going to use my foundation brush to help conceal. This is Maybelline New York Concealer. I have mine in the shade 5 Ivory. So, I'm going to pick up my mirror so I can see. I'm going to go in this kind of thing under my eye. Just do one of those. And then I'm gonna do like right in here and my nose, my cupid bow, and my chin. So this is what I'm working with, and then I'm going to blend. I'm going to start with my chin. Oh, this is not blending. You guys, this is not blending well. Like, okay, under my eyes, it's kind of creasing, but it's not blending awfully. But then, like, on my nose and my forehead, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So I'm just going to try to keep... Blending that out. Oh my god, my eye. My eye! Okay, yeah, that's not. Oh, goodness. I got makeup in my eye. So I'm gonna go under it like this. And then what I'm gonna do, actually, is spray that part of my forehead. with setting spray and then blend that out I might have you know just gotten it a little too thick in that area so hopefully we'll come back to it but let me just you know real quick take care of my burning eye because I can't like it's another thing that this is good for alright so I'm gonna wipe this off and yes you guys I do wash this this is just stained from like this week like I wash this every time I do my laundry so about once a week Let me just check that. Oh yeah, that looks a lot more blended than it did. Okay. So now that we've, you know, concealed, I don't really care if you can like see my pimples and whatnot. Right. We're going to go in and do, I want to do my face first. So, I have a Physicians Formula Butter Highlight. This is in the shade Pearl. I have a CoverGirl Ice Cappuccino Bronzer and a blush. So, I'm going to take this blush brush right here. And actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to use this for my bronzer, I'm going to use this powder brush for my blush, and then this crease brush for my highlight. So, alright, I'm going to do my bronzer first, so... I like to just give it a good little... Like 
light blending action in here. I'm looking down at my mirror so I can see what I'm doing and I'm not like completely going off kilter. So I'm gonna just do some bronzing up here, get it kind of like right in there under my glasses. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzing down here because you wanna look naturally bronzed. So there we go. And then I'm gonna do my blush, which I like this color because it's a very like, it's a very um, light blush color. I don't like too dark of blushes if you guys know me. I hate like really super dark blush because I have naturally red skin. So I would look like a tomato. But I like just like a light little something on my cheeks right there. So I'm just going to make sure that that's all done. And then I'm going to take this Physicians Formula Highlighter. I dug my nail into it on accident. You can kind of see that. But I'm going to get the highlighter on this brush. I love the way Physicians Formula smells too, you guys. It smells so good. And then I'm going to put this right on the cheekbones. So right there. So I'm going to put the... I have the Butter Bronzer. I have it in light bronze. It's in my main collection, if you guys have seen my makeup collection. Um, I got the light bronzer instead of like the classic bronzer because I felt like the light bronzer would be a little bit too dark for my skin. I'm not used to such a thin highlight, so what I'm gonna do is go in with my finger and tap this over where that highlight was and make sure that it is blended all right there we go my face is done Sometimes I'll do my eyes before I do all of this, but for purposes of this video, I didn't want to. Let me wipe these off before I put them back in there. And I do wash these brushes too, but this is the first time I've used them. So, now to do the eyes. This would go a lot faster if I wasn't talking to you. So I'm gonna do the eyes. I have three different Maybelline eyeshadows. I have this one in the shade Linen. I have this one in the shade Night Sky. And then I have this one in the shade Nude Glow. I'm going to use all three of these to create an eye look. But I'm gonna start by priming my eye. So I'm gonna take my glasses off. I'm like really blind without them. So I'm going to move my mirror. And then this kind of reminds me of like the Urban Decay one with like the squeeze bottle and the wand. But this is by Broadway Colors. So let me do one of these. And then I'm going to use my finger and blend it because a little bit of this goes a very very long way and i'm blending up to my eyebrow i'm gonna do the same thing to my other eye Okay, 
So now that they are primed and ready, I'm going to go in first with the shade Linen. And I'm going to take, which brush do I want to use? This flat brush right here. And then I'm going to put this on my eyelid. I'm actually going to put this everywhere I had that primer. So from my eyelid to my eyebrow. Just like that. And then again on the other eye. I have to hold it like where I can see so I'm like holding it really close to myself because I have really bad like I really cannot see sometimes you guys it's bad <laughs> okay so now that that's done on my eyelid I'm gonna do like a kind of fairy color look. I like to keep these little sponge things, but I never actually use them. I'm going to take this color. No, I'm going to take this color and very lightly pick it up with this brush. Definitely tap off the extra. And I'm going to go very lightly not quite into the crease, but on the outer portion of my eye. This is definitely going to need a lot of blending to look out. But you want something like this. And then on this eye, you want the same thing. So, just very lightly, kind of blend. Obviously, this side's darker because this is the one that I did first. So, I'm going to continue just blending and pulling it into, or pushing it farther into the crease of my eye. I'm going to pick up the slightest bit extra and put it on this side. Okay, so I know, I know it looks really dark, but I'm gonna go and clean it up like this. And then I'm going to take this shade and on my my domed shadow brush I'm going to pick up this color and put this all over my eyelid and this is gonna help blend out that black eyeshadow just like that. And this way you still have some of the darkness on the outside, but on the inside it's not as dark. So, again, you want to pick up eyeshadow. And then I'm going to go in here. They look a little different because I'm doing them on camera and I'm not quite used to doing things on camera. So now going back with that first brush that I took when I set my primer, 
I'm going to pick up some more of this shade. And I'm going to put this again on the brow bone. So I'm going to start on the inside and go up. And over like this. And then I'm going to start on the inside. Go up and over like so. Now I don't have anything for my eyebrows in here, so I'm going to grab my lash and brow thing by elf and put this in my brows i know i'm technically cheating but that's okay as long as you don't cheat on tests you're fine I'm gonna slip my glasses back on. Oh wait, I forgot to do my eyeliner. That's probably important. I really probably should do that. All right, let me put these brushes up. do my eyeliner this is the wet n wild felt tip eyeliner and this is just like a really tiny little felt tip and so I'm going to start on the inside of my eye Like the very tip. I can't talk into my eyeliner. I'm trying to like do a wing here. There we go. That's not the greatest wing I've ever done, but it's also not the worst wing I've ever done. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to replicate that on this side.
Okay, so now I'm going to go this way. Okay, I'm gonna make this one just a bit thicker. So that they match just a little bit more. They're not quite twins. Woo! They are definitely not, and I have to do my mascara, they are definitely not twins, but they are sisters. This one looks a little more, oh, I think that's the best freehand wing I've ever done. So I'm going to go ahead, do some mascara, and then I'm going to get my fancy little eye comb out of here, and then I'm going to do my lips and let me do my mascara real quick like I said you guys I am blind excuse me without my glasses on so the wand on this brush is a little hinky but it'll work Yeah, got my hair caught in it. Okay, I'm gonna do a second coat on my eyes. I actually might not need that comb. Alright, so like that. And then let me put my glasses on and double check my lashes. Yeah, all right, we're good. I actually don't need this. So now we're going to go in with the lipstick and then we will be done. So. This, as I mentioned before, is the e.l.f. Um, blushing rose liquid lipstick. My eyelashes are sticking together. Hold on. There we go. Alright. So I like to do my bottom lip first. And I like to start from the outer corner and go in. So I want to kind of do it so you guys can see it. Okay, so like that and then like that and then I press them together and then There we go. That is how I do my makeup with the makeup that I have in my bag. Actually, I forgot to set it. Hold on. Just a second. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My eyelashes are so oh, sticking. All right. 
I'm gonna comb them out real quick because they are sticking. So I'm going to comb them down to get the clumps out and then up for shape. So down to get the clumps out and then up for shape. Just try not to stick yourself in the eye. That would be pretty embarrassing. Alright, now That is everything. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And I'm sorry about my hair being all crazy. I look more awake now. But be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you didn't and you want to give it a thumbs down, that's cool too. I still celebrate my thumbs downs. So, whatever you leave this video... We'll still celebrate it. Uh, well, I mean, at least I will. I don't know about you guys, but I'll be celebrating because I do not care. So, oh, I dropped it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.